belong to St James Church which is also located in Moulali Calcutta so let's start the second part of a documentary with some historical facts on St James Church meanwhile we will show you the church from both inside and outside St. James Church is one of the Kolkata's most elegant churches. It is popularly known as Jora Gilja. This church dominates the skyline of Kolkata because of its twin spires, which is a major tourist attraction. The present church, located at AGC Bose Road, was built to replace the older one, situated at Amar Street, which collapsed after lying in a state of disrepair for a long time. Therefore, the church authorities decided to build the church beside St James School for the school children. The foundation stone of the new church was laid on 7 June 1862 by the Honorable Sir John Peter Grant, who was the Lieutenant Governor of Bengal at that time. This church is one of the most prestigious parish churches in Kolkata. We will now present some more historical facts about this church. Outer walls of the church are firmly supported on all sides by well-proportioned pillars. There is a spacious driveway on both the eastern and western sides of the church. We can also see double-tier turret towers in front of the driveway, which is surmounted by a cross and flanked from both sides. On the upper portion of the lower southern tower, there is a clock which faces west and south. The church was renovated once again starting from 18th April 2010 which was done by Miss Maskan which was one of Kolkata's most reputed engineering firms. Thanksgiving service of the church was held on 11 December 2011 after the renovation was completed. We will now tell you some more devotional aspects related to this church. This church is a special place for those people who regularly come to worship here all those families who come to worship here have always loved this place because of the warmth and energy that it generates there are even families who have been visiting this church for over 3 generations anyone visiting this church can feel the sense of devotion inside them the silence inside the church calms the mind and provides a sense of relief Those who visit the church feel a stronger connection with God which makes the place so sacred and holy. Now let's talk about some archaeological facts related to this famous A very interesting fact about this church is that it can accommodate 600 people together in its prayer hall. The school and the church was built together on the keen insistence of Arch Deacon Pratt who was a great educationist at that point of time. He gave his full support for the project. His vision had always been very simple yet great. He wanted a combined plan for devotion and education as he saw both of them to be equally important. He always felt that an uneducated man can never understand the importance of religion. His vision turned into reality when Mr. Coates, a British gentleman who owned the plot of land, decided to give up his spacious garden house. for this noble purpose thus began the construction of this great church this is one of the oldest churches in kolkata and will always remain as a legacy now we will tell you some interesting facts about this church which involves the name recently seen james's church completed 150 years after it was established on 25th july 1864 by the honorable reverend bishop cotton although the church has a strong architectural design but there was a recent decline in its condition due to the passage of time thanks to the initiative of st james school and pat memorial school that the professional experts were contacted for the preservation and the restoration of the church after a lot of study the church is in a better condition now the church is still being supervised under various conservational strategies for its preservation for future generations thanks to the growing awareness among the people that helped to preserve such a beautiful heritage culture 
फॉर कोलकाता एंड द स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल